Okay, guys, what I've been doing here is welding the brake uh, caliper bracket. That'll line up with the rotor nicely. Uh, and the um, engine plate. So, the card actually looks pretty good so far. To me, anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do now is everything, the back all lines up. So, yeah, this wheel needs to come over a, a bit more. Uh, now that the back is all lined up, I got the um, engine bracket on. I have the brake bracket on and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole back section apart. I'm going to clean it nice, and um, I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it, though, right for now with just, um, I bought this red color paint, which is was the wrong pink when I, when I bought the red for the sexy machine. So for now, that's what I'm going to use to paint this. I can't take the can back, so I might as well coat it with that so it doesn't rust anymore. And then I still haven't decided what I'm going to paint this go-kart, what color. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. I went ahead and cut the wood for the seat. This one here is a little bit long. I think I'm going to shorten it a little bit. It's a little way too long. So, I tried to go out and get sponge. Just a piece of sponge, I have no clue why it's so expensive, a piece of sponge just for the, the bottom of the seat, this size, a foot and a half by a foot and a half is 51 bucks. There's no way I'm going to spend 51 bucks on a piece of sponge. And then I need the sponge for the back, I might as well just buy a seat. So. I'm going to go out and uh, try to find a couch that somebody threw out.
for the floor panel, I'm not going to use metal. Like I said, I want to try to make this cart as light as possible. And this wood is really light. So I cut the shape out out of this piece of wood. Here. And this is going to fit nicely in here. I'm just primering part of the front end because this thing keeps on rusting. I keep cleaning it. It rains, rusts. I would have perfect memory for 
wouldn't get sick from people to communicate with people telepathically. Scientologists sacrifice money. It's vegan and it's organic. Jose Maria Chavez and his family fought to become American citizens. He wasn't born here, but that fact never once crossed his mind. The four times he put himself in harm's way to save the men from what? Here's how my so here's how my seat turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking of making some side panels here, also to match the seat on both sides. I think that'll, uh, I think that'll even make it better. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So. This is my battery box. Got the cover here for it. Um, I was going to put the fuse box here, but I decided to make a box over there for switches on the other side. So I think I'm going to put the fuse box in that other box. So here's how my pedals turned out. Uh, I came up with with this, so I don't know. I think they came out pretty cool. Uh, I welded two nuts on here, five sixteens nuts. Uh, the reason why is so when it goes into the bolt, it gives it more stability, right? So it doesn't wobble back and forth. I just have to drill the threads out now. Uh, this is just a bracket that I, it's actually two brackets that I brought, bought one for each um, pedal. And then these, you guys saw me welding them, they're just these kind of brackets that you buy. And I just ended up putting one here, then another one, and then another one, all on an angle. If you can see how that came out. Right? Yeah, but I think they came out pretty cool. Cool? Cool. Uh, David, um, I know you're trying to get used to your welder and uh, and that. Like my welder is completely different than yours. Um, what what I was telling you about on your video is to try to lo lower the wire speed. 
yours has a, a high and low setting. Mine has A, B, C, and D, so I got like four settings for the, um, the temperature. I keep mine on, uh, on C, which is the third level. On yours, it would probably be uh, high. And just because it's on high does not mean that you need to raise your wire speed. I keep mine on like C for the metal I weld, but my wire is always at three. If I raise mine up to six, seven, or eight, it starts spinning like crazy. So it's just a suggestion, buddy. Here's my switch box. Uh, it's gonna have cover here. I'm gonna have a switch here and two here. Um, I was thinking of putting my fuse box next to the battery box but now that I built this I'm thinking of putting the switch box in here sorry the fuse box in here which will fit perfect yeah it'll work out perfect like that um, I'm happy with the seat, uh, these boxes here, I'm gonna grind this, the ne on my next video, I'm gonna do my dashboard, I gotta make a mount for the, um, for the paintball gun, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that, um, and yeah, this thing is almost ready to go, except for the painting. But once I get my dash going, the paintball gun mount, or in my ornament, I still have to finish my ornament, that I said. Um, David Johnson, that was a nice find, buddy. Um, I wish I could find parts like that. You got a nice rack and pinion there for a, a go-kart, a steering, car, uh, steering rack, steering wheel. Uh, I know you're going to... You, you're gonna get used to your welder you're gonna um, uh, come up with something nice um, twisted R racing Stacy Reeves thanks for watching my videos and commenting um, custom winder one same to you you guys out there go watch those guys videos they have nice content and yeah, I'm going to leave this video here and um, cheers guys.